Okay, everyone, we are back, and now we are in the notes section, and we are going to add notes. And why would you use notes? If I'm sharing with my partner or my team or my graphic designer, and we're using the same program, I could have the same type of flow chart and send it to her, send it to him, send it to them, and I can leave notes with specific instructions, okay? Like, um, let's say this one right here says this will be the graphic design video okay so I can add a note I would put a note here and say okay this video is going to be a video on graphic design it's going to go over the anatomy of graphic design the history of graphic design so make sure that you mention that blah 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 okay let's just add a note simple enough right so let's just do it so you just click on what you want and then right here it's just that simple it's right there okay you can also label too. I mean, we haven't done labels, but you can label it. You know, let's just do a label first since we're right here. You know, this is a label. You know, and so now you have labels. I mean, you can actually make this label out of a note too, but let's just create a note because this video is about notes. So you right click, click on notes, and then you have this little window that pops up. And as you can see, you have your little editors, the little tools. You can bold your text, you can italicize it, underline it, link it, sync it, shift it left to right, and get it tight. Background, ooh, I didn't know you can change the background color. That's cool. Oh, I don't know, maybe it's the color. Oh, okay, yeah. So there you go, you can just leave a note, but I can't see that, so I need to stop doing that. So you say, this is, this is a note, right? and then you just click out of it and as you can see right here it automatically adds a note so when you send this file to your team they'll click on this note and then they'll read the instructions and it's good to go now in order to delete a note you just have to take out what was in there and then click away and you no longer see the note so let's just put a note back we'll say note one and then we'll say note 2 oh, I was hitting enter to think that I would get out but alright there you go that's how you create notes right really simple and um, that is the last video of this course and when we come back I'm gonna wrap everything up and we're gonna go through everything what we did how does that sound alright so I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna recap and call it good. See you in the next video.